Imagine a world where timekeeping is not just a functional necessity but a magnificent spectacle. This was the reality in ancient China where the marvels of water clocks redefined the concept of time. If you're intrigued by the marvels of ancient inventions, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights. Enter Su Sung, a diplomatic envoy to the Sung dynasty, who found himself in the midst of a timekeeping revolution. On a mission to wish the ruler of the Khitan people a happy birthday, Su Sung arrived a day early, only to discover that the Khitan people had more accurate timing tools than his own. A revelation that sparked an idea, a challenge, and an invention that would change the course of horological history forever. Upon his return to the Sung dynasty, Su Sung was ordered by the emperor to create an astronomical clock. But this was not to be just any clock, it was to be more utilitarian, more beautiful, and more accurate than any other. And so, Su Sung embarked on a journey of innovation, engineering and ingenuity, pushing limits of what was possible in the realm of timekeeping. He designed a clock tower 30 feet high adorned with a bronze armillary sphere, a celestial globe, and a water clock powered by the unfaltering flow of water. A spectacle to behold, the clock also featured mannequins that performed movements controlled by the machinery within. The piece de resistance however, was Su Sung's brilliant water escapement, a testament to his genius and the advanced horological development in China. The clock, completed in the year 1090, ran until 1126, when it was stolen by invading Tatars. Despite its untimely theft, the clock left an indelible mark on horological development, showcasing the significant contributions of Chinese civilization to modern-day inventions. The challenge was set, and Su Sung was about to embark on a journey that would culminate in one of the most astounding inventions of his era. Armed with a mission, Su Sung set out to create an astronomical clock like no other. His vision was grand, a spectacle of ingenuity and artistry that would tower above the landscape, a testament to the technological prowess of the Sung dynasty. The design of Su Sung's clock was no ordinary feat. Imagine a colossal 30-foot-high clock tower, a beacon of innovation in an era defined by the beauty of simplicity. At the heart of this tower was a bronze armillary sphere, a celestial globe that echoed the heavens a mirror to the universe itself. Meticulously crafted, the sphere was a tangible representation of Su Sung's quest to encapsulate the cosmos in the confines of a clock. But the true marvel, the core of this masterpiece, was the water-powered mechanism. Fluid, ever-changing yet consistent, water was the lifeblood of this clock. It was this element, so integral to life itself, that powered the clock, marking the passage of time with the rhythm of its flow. The real stroke of genius in Su Sung's design was the water escapement, a mechanism that harnessed the power of water to regulate the clock's operation. It was the heartbeat of the clock, a pulse that kept time with the universe. This brilliant water escapement was Su Sung's masterstroke, a mechanism so advanced it set a new benchmark in horological development. In the hands of Su Sung, what could have been merely a timekeeping device transformed into a celebration of the interplay of nature and technology, of art and science. The clock was not just a tool, it was a spectacle, a performance with mannequins that danced to the tune of time, controlled by the clock's machinery. Su Sung's clock was not merely a tool, it was a testament to the technological prowess and artistic vision of ancient China. It was a masterpiece that embodied the spirit of its creator and the era it was born in, a testament to the enduring allure and timeless genius of ancient Chinese horology. The clock was completed in 1090 and ran until 1126, marking a grand era of Chinese horology. The water clock tower stood tall, an embodiment of both beauty and functionality, until it met an unfortunate fate. Like a thief in the night, invading Tatars spirited away this remarkable timepiece, marking a sudden and tragic end to an era of high horology in China. In the aftermath of the clock tower's disappearance, the tides of time swept away the intricate knowledge of its construction and operation. The rise of Taoistic reformers further cast a shadow over the once thriving tradition of Chinese horology. It was as if the hands of time had been forcefully stilled, the rhythm of progress interrupted. But as they say, nothing stays lost forever. In a twist of fate, centuries later, in the 17th century, a ray of hope appeared. Su Sung's book, which detailed the design and operation of the water clock, was rediscovered. This valuable tome offered a glimpse into the past, a window into the intricate engineering feats of the Sung dynasty. The book provided a wealth of knowledge, 
shedding light on the water clock's unique escapement mechanism, the celestial globe, and the bronze armillary sphere. It painted a vivid picture of the mannequins that danced to the mechanical rhythm of the clock, a delightful spectacle that must have been a sight to behold. While the physical clock was long gone, its legacy was far from forgotten. The rediscovery of Susung's book sparked a renewed interest in horology, inspiring generations of inventors and horologists. The water clock's enduring influence is a testament to the innovative spirit of its creator and the advanced technological capabilities of the Song dynasty. Even though the physical clock was lost its legacy lived on, inspiring generations of inventors and horologists. The story of the water clock is a tale of loss and rediscovery, of innovation and inspiration. It's a testament to the relentless march of time and the enduring legacy of a bygone era. The brilliance of Susung's water clock extends far beyond its time, influencing modern-day inventions. This statement is not just a tribute to the genius of Susung, but also to the enduring impact of the innovative spirit of ancient China. The water clock, with its intricate engineering and mathematical precision, was a marvel of its time, a testament to the advanced horological development in China. But its influence did not stop with the ticking of its gears. It set the wheels of progress in motion, becoming a cornerstone for modern horology and technology. Su Sung's water clock was a technological marvel, a fusion of art and science. Its design principles, its mechanical ingenuity, and its precision timing have all echoed through the ages, influencing the development of modern timekeeping devices. From the pendulum clocks of the 17th century to the quartz watches of the 20th, and even the atomic clocks of today, we can trace a line of innovation back to Su Sung's masterpiece. But it's not just in the realm of timekeeping that we see the impact of Su Sung's clock. Its influence extends to other areas of technology as well. The concept of using water to power machinery for instance, laid the foundation for the development of hydraulic systems, which are used in everything from car brakes to construction equipment. The water clock also underscores the significant contributions of ancient Chinese civilization to the world. It is a shining example of the ingenuity and creativity that characterized this era, a time when China was a global leader in science and technology. It serves as a reminder of a civilization that valued knowledge, invention and progress, values that continue to inspire and drive us today. The astounding water clocks of ancient China serve as a timeless testament to human ingenuity and creativity. They remind us that the past is not just a distant memory, but a wellspring of inspiration, a catalyst for progress, and a testament to the limitless potential of the human mind. From the grandeur of their design to the intricacy of their functioning, the water clocks of ancient China are a marvel of human invention. Just imagine the sight of Su Sung's towering creation, standing 30 feet high with a celestial globe and water-powered machinery that moved mannequins. This wasn't just a clock, but a testament to the ingenuity and inventiveness of ancient Chinese civilization. This clock was a work of art and science, combining the best of both worlds. It was a statement of progress, of mastery over time, a symbol of power and prestige, and it was all made possible by the brilliant water escapement, a mechanism so ingenious that it still captures our imagination today. But the story doesn't end with the creation of this masterful clock. The impact of Su Sung's invention echoed through the ages, contributing significantly to the advancement of horology, even though the original clock was lost to time and conflict, its influence lived on, inspiring future generations of inventors and horologists. The legacy of the water clock is not just found in the pages of dusty history books, but in the heart of modern-day inventions. These ancient timepieces paved the way for the precision and accuracy we now take for granted in our watches and clocks. They were the stepping stones to the digital age, where time is measured not in the flow of water, but in the flicker of pixels. And so, we circle back to the timeless marvel of water clocks. These ancient wonders stand as a shining testament to humanity's unending quest to understand and master the world around us. The water clocks of ancient China, in their grand design and intricate functionality, reflect our enduring fascination with time and our ceaseless drive to measure it, control it, and ultimately, to understand it. As we explore the wonders of the past we gain a deeper appreciation for the ingenuity of our ancestors. The astounding water clocks of ancient China serve as a beautiful reminder of our timeless quest for knowledge, innovation, and mastery over time itself.